Hey, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective and I'm making a quick video on uh, some noting performance of Spyderco's LC200N and uh, their S35VN. Um, so basically, I like LC200N as like a work steel because it's very tough and it sharpens up so nice but it's very low nitride at about four and a half percent nitride volume, chromium nitrides. So very low there. And then S35VN, very fine green structure. And then S35VN, oh gosh, I don't even remember off the top of my head, but probably like 12% um, carbide, 12% uh, carbide volume and uh, I think like one and a half percent of those are vanadium carbides ish and the rest are chromium carbides so you know triple the carbide content of LC200N but both of them uh, come up very very fine and uh, that's not my overall preference I prefer more of like a K390, like you can really feel those vanadium carbide teeth, but it is its own thing. And because I've been working with higher vanadium steels, even like S30V, I notice I like the edge this takes and uh, how it breaks down if it's more like a 700 grit edge and then stropped on either three or one micron diamond. And I like that for these higher vanadium steels. Uh, but for me, S30V is kind of a tipping point. Um, but anyways, that's not the real point of this video. The point is, is that on these low, lower carbide, but low vanadium carbide steels, is I wanted to try a more polished edge on them. And I didn't really polish the edge necessarily, is just take it to a high grit. So both of these are at 17 degrees per side. And then I tossed these both in the KME and I did a 140 grit diamond plate, 300, 600, 1500 all diamond plate. Then I did a big jump up to the Spyderco Ultrafine, which is a ceramic, I think it's either like a five or eight K uh, equivalent. And then I did four micro, or, yeah, four micron CBN to finish these off. So both of them had a good bite, and they still still do have some bite in them, uh, but they feel very fine. It's very different than the bite you get from yeah, like 10V. Um, so I liked what I got, very you know, hair whittling, all that good jazz. And I carried both of these for a week. And they did better than the toothier, more aggressive edge did on these. Because I really don't like S35VN because I've been putting that edge on it. But now this this did good. I, I liked carrying it um, with this higher grit edge. So I'm just basically putting out there is on these steels that are basically so roughly less than 4% vanadium, I do think actually this higher grit edge is worth it. Um, so there's that note. And then I wanted to kind of bring some harder numbers into here too. Um, and uh, this is it. Is that uh, this LC200N is softer than this S35VN, almost certainly. So this is why I believe that. Is uh, We know that LC200N is capped at like 60 Rockwell. I'd be really surprised if Spyderco was getting there with you know the large batch heat treats they have to do. So we know it's in that range. And that seems to be about where S35V and S30V get done too. So we know we're kind of in that ballpark. So I've tested the Benchmade S30V uh, three times on this bug out, once on another bug out, and then I've tested this Benchmade 20CV uh, cutting cardboard until it will no longer shave hair. 
and uh, they all came up at 60 feet of cardboard in my testing. So don't compare that to other people's, but in my testing, 60 feet of cardboard before would no longer shave hair on a one inch section. Um, so Benchmade advertises their S30V is in a hardness range between 58 and 60 Rockwell, and they advertise their 20CV as being between uh, 59 and 61 Rockwell. I have seen some of these Rockwell tested, and they were at like 59.2. Uh, I don't know if I've seen Benchmade S30V Rockwell. I think I have, but it was in like the 59s maybe. And Benchmade does do a pretty good job with their S30V. But these got 60, like almost exactly. And this also got about 60. So in order for all of these things to equal each other, it pretty much has to be at 59. Because I doubt this is lower than 59. And I doubt this is higher than uh, like 59 mid 50s so in order for these two to do as well as this they have to be between 59 and 60 there's no way this one's at 60 i've never heard of one of these being at 60 so this all points to them being like 59 rockwell ish okay um when I tested this S35VN, I got about 27% more out of it. I got like 76 feet of cardboard versus the 60. So that right there indicates more hardness because that shaving hardness or shaving edge is very dependent on hardness. There's a very, very strong correlation to it. And then this was kind of the nail in the coffin. I... Don't think you'll be able to see. No, nope. uh, maybe you can see a little flex of light, but there's damage over this entire edge. Just little blunt spots over the whole thing. The non-blunt spots still have a little bit of bite in them, but blunt spots over the whole thing. S thirty-five VN, same angle. They're pretty close behind the edge. I think the native is a little bit thicker. Um. And it's perfect all the way up to the tip, about a pinky width there, so maybe a centimeter and a half or so. At the tip, there's some blunting roll spots there. So with the edge retention testing, suggesting that this S35VN is harder, and then with me carrying each one for a week and seeing that this LC200N suffered a lot more uh, blunting, I'm definitely thinking that this S35VN is pushing 60. I don't think it's over, but I think it's pushing 60, okay? And then the last thing is on this whole thing to just kind of do a little thing. I've got 20CV and both of its analogs. So 20CV, 204P, M390. I don't remember the numbers on these, I believe both of these did about 120 feet of cardboard before they stopped shaving. So they doubled this 20 CV. Um, Spyderco has been shown to hit 62, 61 to 62 on M390 before. So I wouldn't be surprised, and based off my testing, if this 204P is in the same ballpark. So that's what you can get same chemistry, just higher hardness. If you shoot for that higher hardness, that's what you can get. And that's why I don't like Benchmade's 20CV. It's just like, it's S30V that's less tough and has less vanadium carbide in it. That's, that's it. So I don't, I don't like 20CV from Benchmade, so they can keep it. But that's, that's what I wanted to talk about. So yeah, try out those higher grit edge on these less than 4% vanadium steels. And um, the Spyderco's LC200N, I'm guessing is 59 Rockwell. And that's kind of confirmed with these two blades. And I'm guessing Spyderco's S35VN, they do it pretty good. I don't know if I've seen these Rockwell. Actually, I think I have it like 59 and a half. 
So I'm, I'm guessing this one is in the upper 59s uh, based off of what I'm seeing. So they do a good job on the S35. And considering the cap on LC200N, I think they do a really good job as well. So that's, that's all I've got. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, guys. Bye.